Hi, I'm Father Jonathan Meyer from All Saints Parish. During the coronavirus, now that our masses and our holy hours are online, I've received some questions about the prayers that we are reciting during our holy hours. We pray them out of this book, and this book is referred to by four different names just to make it all the more confusing. Sometimes it's called the Breviary, sometimes it's called the Liturgy of the Hours, sometimes it's called the Divine Office, and sometimes it's called the Prayer of the Church. So I often refer to it as my Breviary, but you can call it those three other things as well. What is it? Well, it really is the Prayer of the Church, and it's required to be prayed by a lot of people and optionally chosen to be prayed by even more people. So who's required to pray it? Well, top down, the Pope, the cardinals, every bishop, every priest, every deacon, every religious sister, every nun, every religious brother, every monk, and every consecrated layperson is required and makes promises on the day of their ordination, their consecration, or their professions to pray the breviary, the prayer of the church, every single day. Lay faithful are strongly encouraged to pray, and I know many that do on a very regular basis. What's its history and origin? Well, as I was getting ready for this video earlier today, I was praying daytime prayer, and Psalm 119 says this, lies I hate and detest, but your law is my love. Seven times a day I praise you for your just decrees. So Psalm 119 right here, uh, out of the breviary, the Liturgy of the Hours, the Prayer of the Church, the Divine Office, says that we are to praise the Lord seven times a day. Faithful Jewish Orthodox people did this. So when Christianity came along, the Christians did it as well. They were like, why would we stop praising the Lord seven times a day? So the reason why it's sometimes referred to as the liturgy of the hours is that those who pray them literally stop at certain hours during the day and they pray. The seven times are looked at as the invitatory, and then what is known as the office of readings, morning prayer, mid-morning prayer, midday prayer, evening prayer, and night prayer. So when we look at these seven hours, these are the seven times when people pray throughout the day. Now, as a diocesan priest, there are different regulations. I'm, I'm, I'm required to only pray the five out of the seven. Sometimes I pray the seven, but I'm required by church law to pray five out of the seven. The two major focal points, or what they sometimes refer to as the hinge, is morning prayer and evening prayer. So those are kind of often where people start. Although I've known some people that start with night prayer, because it's just a way, great way to close the night out every single night. The Liturgy of the Hours can be found online, and we're connecting some resources right down here, where you can find the Liturgy of the Hours. For those of you who have been joining us in our holy hours, often at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. every single day online, those resources might help you to be able to pray aloud verbally with us or even just help you hear better the prayers that are being said uh, as we recite them. Particularly during, the Holy, during Holy Week, during the Triduum, all parishes are asked to recite the Divine Office and morning prayer publicly. Now, of course, because our churches are closed, that'll be hard, but we'll be doing that online as well so everyone can participate in that. One of the reasons why I love the breviary or the divine office or the liturgy of the hours or the prayer of the church is that it gives me a regular scheduled conversation. It's just like if you were to take your iPhone or your magic phone or whatever you want to call it, and you were going to set up little alarms to send a text message to your husband or to your wife or to send a text message to your child away at college. That's what this does for me. Seven times a day, I stop, I bless myself, I read scripture, which is what the Liturgy of the Hours all is. It's all the good book. I spend time in conversation with God. And then I get up and do the work of God. It truly helps us sanctify the day. What would your life be like if you prayed seven times a day? Would you be happier? Would you be more joyful? Would you have more peace? Would you have more calm?
would you feel more inspired? More like your true self? Consider praying the Liturgy of the Hours, the breviary, the Divine Office, the Prayer of the Church. Allow Jesus to permeate your every being and every move and every thought and every breath. That's what he desires, and let's be honest, you desire it as well. I hope this quick explanation helps you to understand a little bit more about this great gift of the church, and I hope you take the time to explore it. It really is a blessing. God bless you, and may you and I continue to be the saints that God is calling us to be. Amen. Thank you.